Me and married men. Hey, five and six. Mm. I don't even know. I don't know what I have done to these people to deserve this type of chasing. I know I'm a fine girl, you get. But for you to chase me like this, uh -uh. for you to even deny that you are married just to get me, just to get under my panty, that's a different type of disrespect like to your wife and i have found myself like in a very difficult situation with these people they will these men very very rich men they will entice you with money they will entice you with materialistic things <sighs> okay let's just go back let me tell you guys a story I have a lot to tell, but let me just say this particular one because it's so funny to me. So there's this man. I know him. I know his wife. I know his children. Like I literally know his children, everybody. So this man started chasing me. Like this man has chased me for like five years, six years count. And even till this year, he's still doing that. And he's always like, coming with i should leave my boyfriend that this small small boy should not do anything for me that he's the only one that can take care of me that he has the money that he will spoil me that my situation will change i'm like ah i looked at him then i know that i wasn't really that close to you know god but home training home training my dear was stopping me and I wasn't someone that was that immersed in like making money like the wrong way. I love money, you get, but I don't like making it the wrong way. And that was just, that was just a no-no for me. So I didn't even hit to him. This man, this man stressed me with his constant chasing. Like, I had to ask this man there are other ladies out there like oh god please just go and do this there don't come close to me i am not ready for you i'm not going to spoil another woman's marriage it's never going to be possible you get but now that i think about it i said if he had asked me i would have answered differently i would have told him have you been reading your bible why are you not keeping the ten commandments you get that's what i would have told him but mm, it's now bygone. Whenever he sees me now, he just looks at me. He doesn't say anything because he knows. The answer is no. But next time he's going to come to me and say that thing, I'm going to tell him, Oga, why are you not keeping the Ten Commandments? Let's just start with that one. Why? Uh -uh, stop disturbing me now. Leave me for this, my future husband, to see me. <laughs> I don't want to be entangled. I beg. You get that kind of thing? <laughs> so another one there's another guy another man he said he's not married though but he looks married because when you say married man you will know you get so he looks married so this man the first day that we met he asked me for my number and he, like i was thinking like i'm not someone to like hold my number you get because i always think positively of people i don't think negatively of people you get so i thought positively i was like okay maybe this man is going to help me he looks affluent he looks like a man that you know knows where he's coming from he looks rich he looks wealthy so i'm like okay let me just give this man my number maybe something good might come out from it from there this man started calling me disturbing me about let's meet in a hotel that he's going to pay me two hundred thousand. like he's even going to like rent a house for me buy me a car take me shopping da, 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 da. this man disturbed me ha that i even i had to block him but it resulted to i feel like he was stalking me still using like different numbers to chat me up i i i i feared for my life guys i genuinely genuinely feared for my life because i've never been in that situation where someone stuck me you get like I've never been in that situation before, like, nah. So, and the story, like, goes on and on from there. But I'm someone that money is not something that moves me. Like, I know that I'm going to make my own money. So, why should I, like, resort to, like, sleeping with men for my money? You get? So, it's it gets scarier and crazier. 
so I genuinely want to tell you this story. Reason why I brought up this story is because there's a lot of girls that have, you know, fallen short, you get, of this type of men. And you know that you're a Christian girl. You're a girl that, true that the situation of the country is not pleasing at all. But this is a time, this is a testing period from God. This is a test. God doesn't test you. Certain tests you. But if you want that testing to stop, if you want it to have limits, that there's when you are going to like, you know, lean on God, bring all these burdens to God. But you know, you guys, because someone, you know that you needed money and Satan, Satan is like, mm, this is time to get this Christian girl. Lo. She has been forming. She has been forming that she doesn't do the things of the world. Mm, this is the time to get her. You get, so these people now start coming, bringing like exact amount that you need like they'll be telling you oh that they can they can give you hundred thousand two hundred thousand just sleep with them for a night oh you know they'll just book a night for you and stuff like that you get so and you and you're not like oh if you just do it it's just a one time something sis sis it's a one time something but it can cost you it can what if you are in that bed with that man doing whatever you guys are doing and you die where will your soul go to? Or maybe you're in that bed with that man and that man dies. Or maybe on your way to go and do it, you die. On your way to go and do it, something happens. What if maybe when you're not through doing it, you're not coming out with that money, someone steals that money. Like, what will you say? Like, what will you tell? What will you tell yourself? What will you tell your God that you were greedy? Guy, you push you guy and read like First Corinthians. I can't remember the particular chapter, but please, if you can read all the First Corinthians written by Saint Paul, please go do that because it talks so much about um, our humanly desires, like our humanly desires that are not desires from God. Like a lot of us have a lot of desires. You get, we want to make money, we want to, we want to have boyfriends, we have to, we want to sleep with them, we want to do this, we want to do that, 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 that a lot and you just you 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 deviate yourself from god like you don't know that those small small things that you do we turn a blind eye to god's blessing in your life you don't know so please i'm begging you don't don't do what this man wants don't succumb to these evil intentions i'm pleading with you don't succumb to this evil intentions jesus loves you i love you like your future husband loves you keep yourself holy even though that you are no more a virgin it doesn't matter you find god at the right time and god is going to give you your own man thank you everybody for tuning in till i see you next time it's your girl next bye